Yeah. What are you doing? I'm gonna call the doctor. You've been woozy since you no, got back. No, I'm fine. I just, I just need to lie down. That's all. You sure? Yeah. <clears throat> I guess it's not a good time to bring up what happened with you and Tay. I mean, at least until I'm stronger. Look, I know that we're not together anymore, Todd, but you'll always be the father of my children. And I, I, what? I just hate seeing you in so much pain. Huh. Freedom's just another word for a long, hot shower without having to worry about dropping the soap. Hey, you know I'm grateful for you to, uh, for, for springing me. Yeah, well, it's Blair Cream that you should thank for dropping those kidnapping charges against you. All you had to do was ask. Her ex-husband was there to take her home from the hospital. You know, right time, right place. Look, I know that you think she did it just to make Todd jealous. No, I know. That's why she did it. Trust me, bro. You're not the man she wants. Can we just pretend that I never said anything? Okay? Tayo, wait. I don't think so. Oh. What child? <sighs> Remember how <laughs> uh, Todd and Roz and I were stranded on that island together? Yeah, it's kind of a hard story to forget. Yeah. Never told anyone how this all happened. How what happened? <sighs> well, Todd and I had sex on the island, okay? It was really romantic. <laughs> it was a deserted island, palm trees, the ocean, love of my life. Only... <laughs> Todd wanted to get back to the mainland the whole time, with or without me. So, when he was making this raft, I got between him and the raft, and I, I told him how I felt about him. And then? And, and then... Okay, it's a little offbeat, I guess, but still romantic. Yeah, real romantic. Especially the part where it becomes patently obvious that he was still in love with Blair. Did you know you were pregnant? No, I didn't know at the time. I mean, I... I, I was with Ross later, and then I just figured the baby was Ross's. Come on, Taya, you're a smart cookie. You had to have known that there was at least a chance. He was fashioning a raft out of palm fronds, Rachel, to get back to Blair. Todd had made his choice, and it wasn't me. Pain. I'm not the one who fell. <sighs> well, Dorian fixed the window. I guess I'm never going to know whether I fell or I was pushed. So you really think you pissed her off enough to make her want to kill you? Maybe. Or well, maybe she figured out that... You knew what her other big secret was, which must have been huge. You know what? Maybe we should we should talk about it now. Well, I, th I thought you wanted to remember it. I do. Well, okay, then why the 180? Todd chose Blair, so you chose Ross. Look, Rachel, Todd and I had sex once. The chances were slim. Ross and I had sex many times. I figured chances were good. It was Ross's. You know, sue me. Frankly, I didn't want to know. What changed? I, I got a call from Ray Montes to represent him. Don't laugh. But I, I figured that was a sign for me to come back to Landview and, and finally, you know, face Todd. I had to know whether or not the baby was his, so... A DNA test run. It wasn't hard to get a sample. <laughs> and um, that's when I knew for sure. The baby I had had all those years ago was not Ross's. It was Todd's. Matt looks about as happy to be here as I am. Mr. Buchanan's name is Matthew, not Matt. Oh, you hear that, MB? You know, we're misters and she's the mistress. You know, have you ever read Fanny Hill? Hmm? Thomas, you've already cost your house 10 penalty points this week. Would you like to try for 20? Sure. Why not? Double or nothing? You have 
to help me. I'm sure there's a logical explanation. I called the hospital in Seattle. They said Matthew's surgery was canceled. He never showed. Well, maybe he changed his mind. After fighting so hard to have that surgery, something's happened to him. I know it. Something like what? You're his brother, aren't you? Find out.